Mark, I've got a question. Like groundbreaking television shows, you know, I Spy, you know, Robert Culp, Bill Cosby, uh, you know, a, a white guy and a black guy in the 60s. Now, when you did the pilot, or the, the, the first episode. I did. Now, how, how groundbreaking was that show at that time, and was there any controversy? It was, so, it was more than you could even imagine. The network threatened. Uh, they were going to lose all the, all the South. They're going to lose the South if they put a black guy in the lead. Uh, now you see it's, thank God, it's common to see uh, black people in television all the time. But it was very courageous. Sheldon Leonard was really responsible for driving that home, forcing that home, and he broke the color barrier for a lead in television. And Cosby was the perfect guy to do it because everybody loved him. Now, what kind of discussions were on the, on the like, in, in pre-production? Like, what, what kind of input was a network giving about that show? Those were the days, you know. The network was out. The advertisers were out. The show was done by the creative people. Uh, it's changed now. Uh, networks have a lot to say. Advertisers have a lot to say. They control much of, uh, of television that's not cable. Uh, most of the quality material has, has been inherited by cable. Uh, networks are very, very controlling in, in the network television. I think it's uh, unfortunate. Okay. And a question, um, I have a friend of mine who lives in Newport Beach. and, yeah. and it's almost like John Wayne is still alive when you go to that town. You know, the airport, where, where his boat is, where his house is. Um, when you think of actors that you worked with that you were intimidated by, now where, do, where does he rate in the larger-than-life figures? Well, you know, he was a lesson to me. Uh, I didn't want him for my picture, The Cowboys. Uh, I wanted George Scott, the studio, really, because I, I, the reason I didn't want him is I, I knew him to be a bigot. I knew him to be a right wing. Uh, we were antithetical uh, human beings, polar opposites in every possible way. But I must tell you that he uh, seduced me in a way that was uh, remarkable. I, I flew to, to Mexico where he was shooting a picture. He really wanted to do the Cowboys. He treated me with the most respect. I was like this, waiting for him to say something anti-Semitic or, or anti-Indian or anti-anything. I was ready to jump on him. But uh, he, was, he taught me a lesson. You know, I, I know a lot of people with whom I agree, politically and otherwise, who are jerks. And then you take someone like him, who I disagreed with in almost every area except art. And he was a terrific person, the first guy on the set, the last person to leave. The picture was full of kids. They climbed on him like a monkey bar in a playground. He was available to everybody. He, we went out to dinner. He would sign autographs for everybody. He never was unfair or unpleasant. And it was a big lesson to me not to, to prejudge. Uh, a question about Woody Allen. Now, how is, how is a Woody Allen set, a Woody Allen film, the set of Woody Allen film different than other sets you've worked on? Well, I, you know, we all try to make, uh, if, if you're a good director, you try to create an environment that's, that's nutritious for the actors, where they feel relaxed, where they're enjoying themselves, where they don't feel pressure. You set goals for them and you nurture them toward uh, experiencing those goals. You know, acting should be fun. It shouldn't be agony. Uh, Woody Allen creates that kind of an environment. I do too. I make a big effort to create a comfortable work environment where people can't wait to come to work to see what's going to happen. That's what happens when you come to a Woody Allen set. You can't wait to see what's going to happen that day. Uh, Bette Midler yeah. on The Rose, when you work with her, how, how scared was she when she made that film? Or was she pretty comfortable with her motion picture debut? She was beyond terrified, beyond terrified. She was. She had never acted with anybody. She'd always she'd done her, her nightclub stuff when, when she was brilliant. As a matter of fact, it took over 20 years for me to get that picture going. Uh, I wanted Bette Midler from the beginning. They said absolutely not. They didn't know who she was. I had seen her in the baths in New York. I'd seen her perform. I said, there's nobody else to play this part. Uh, they wouldn't do it. They wanted me to use a big star and dub a voice. I left. They went through many, many directors. Finally, when she emerged as as a, a, a name, and they began to know who she was, and they recognized that she was the right choice. They called me back and said, we apologize. She's right. Let's make the picture together. And I said, OK. But she was as absolutely terrified, 
completely, I've never seen anybody as frightened as she was on the first day of shooting when she had to play a scene with Alan Bates, one of the great actors in, from England, you know. And, but very quickly she adjusted because she's, uh, you know, she, she's a miracle, much like Woody's a miracle. I mean, there, you can name you, a half a dozen, a dozen people at most who are uh, as spectacular as Bette Midler, as, or as Woody Allen is.